throw my phones to rights now I'm a gangster I am a hip hop gamer uh. One time Hip hop gamer Hot 97 I was born and raised Brooklyn, New York Head to the streets Walked in my talk, it was notorious Back in 94 on your hot 97 The station, I heard it all is getting on, baby, baby, baby. Yo, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's the one and only hip-hop gamer, Hot 97 Logitech G, the G moment, we out here Now look, I got a dude that got energy just like me That's what I'm talking about, son And he over here at AMD First off, let me know who you are And what you do for the AMD processor, bro Sure. Hey, I'm Chris Franco. I work at AMD. Uh, I've been here for about 10 years. I actually build processors, so I am an engineer. I'm not one of these marketing people around here just telling you what it is. <laughs> I do it every day. Um, so yeah, I help make all these great products. Now look, man, I have an AMD 1950X Threadripper 16 core processor. That's what I got right now. Thank you. Thank you. Fire, bro. <laughs> Shit is fire, son. So what? now what I want to ask you is just give us a little bit of background on the process on what it takes to do this because when you look around, you see these games, we're amazed by them, but I would love to know like what goes into you know how everything works. Oh, my God. That is quite a process. So to start off with, for real, we come to these events, we sit with people, we talk to you guys, we find out what people actually want, and that's the hardest part. And this starts four years down the road. Verizon started in 90, no, not 90, 2000, I'm trying to count. I'm trying to get back. It was like 2014, 2013, and we were right. sitting down coming up with these specs. And then we got people designing these chips. When you talk about a chip, you're talking about billions and billions of transistors. It's years and years, right. hundreds of people. Um, but the design teams, they do a great job, and they're spending every single day trying to get in everything you guys want. That's what I'm talking about. So now, here's the major joint, man. It's always like AMD or Intel. It's always a battle, always this stuff going on. What do you feel honestly sets you apart and makes AMD unique with the processors that y'all got? So when you talk about AMD versus Intel, you know, I'm an engineer. All my buddies, they work there, they work here. I know people back on both sides, great people. But for our, our mentality is we're here to give people what they need at the price they need it, and we've always been that way for years. When you talk, let's talk about your 1950X. Right. People are going to come to me and they're going to say, hey, I got A700K, it's faster. And I'm going to say, sure, it's faster at one-third performance. I run a benchmarking lab. I do this for a living. I could take any chip and make it super fast by turning off everything, make one thing run really fast. But guess what? That ain't how you game, is it? What you're doing is what you got. You got your music playing. You got stuff going in the background. You left your, your email open. You got, yeah. hell, I'm doing some schoolwork. I don't want to turn that stuff off. I leave it going in the background. All that stuff is taking up the rest of that machine. Now you got 16 cores, 32 threads that are there taking up all that, so it's not affecting your game. It's that little one to five percent difference. That's that's minuscule compared to all that other stuff going on that you're not even feeling. Mm. See, I like the way you break stuff down because a lot of people don't know that. They more into the hype and the message and the marketing as opposed to the truth. And that's what I wanted to get from you. So now we gotta put the belt on them, son. Oh, gotta put the belt on. You gotta hold the oh, belt, son. Yeah. It's about to go down. Listen. So, I got to ask you a major question. Yeah. Why do you think that, like, a PlayStation or Xbox, for whatever reason, they seem to always go with AMD? Why do you think that is, considering you got other competition out there? Oh, no doubt. Our competitors are great. They do processors, they do graphics cards. When you're building an Xbox, you're building a PlayStation, you don't want a processor or a graphics card. You want both. And we're the only people out here who bring you both. That's what we do. When you come to something like the 2400G, 2200G, there is no other processor in the world that can handle that level of both things. I mean, that 2400G, that's a full grab. I mean, I got one over there, and we can go look at it later. I have it playing Far Cry right now on a pro no graphics card, no graphics card at all. Playing Far Cry, full game. Oh, wait, 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 stop, 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 stop. You lying to me right now. You're, wait, wait, wait. So you're playing Far Cry 5 with no graphics card, just the AMD processor? Just the AMD processor, graphics card, no graphics card at all. Are you serious, yeah. Yo, that, uh, okay, a right, few more questions, then we go wrap this joint up, son. So, everybody wants to know, 
like, because uh, there's already rumors, and me being a journalist, I do know that there are dev kits out there in the world for the PS5. I, this is what I'm hearing. In your opinion, I know there's certain things you can or can't talk about, but what, what do you see the next jump or the next push? Because the Xbox One X is out right now, but obviously PS5 is going to try to, you know, trump that with power. In your honest opinion, professional opinion, being an engineer, what do you think is the next step that fans can expect from PS5 when it comes to power and growth and the next generation in the console world? So I can tell you right now, I have no knowledge on this. A whole nother team does it. I do these things. But I can tell you a little bit of what I'm expecting in the future. Yeah. Um, the big thing I see coming and that we're already talking about and people are talking about is going to be wireless VR. I mean, can you imagine headsets? It's way over there and you're just walking around with it. I, and these are things that are coming. And when we talk about processors that are coming down the line, people think, oh, you know, this four years out, this three years out. Some of this stuff we have in labs. We have working. So there's a difference between, I tell people, as someone who's an engineer, we have theoretical and we have real. And once I touch it, I say, this is real. So there is some stuff out there that is real. And y'all better stay tuned for us because we got stuff coming real soon. Y'all all gonna like. I can't wait. So for the last question, and this is this is just like more of a personal question for you. What's the first what's the first game or what game or what happened in your life that made you want to become a process create a processor creator, working with AMD? What was that moment in your life where you was like, yo, I gotta do this? Okay, and this is going to be the nerdiest of nerdy answers. Y'all, I mean, even the gamers laugh at me when I give this answer. I, I was doing a, a class, and we started talking about lithography. And when you make a processor, uh, they, they basically blast it with light onto a, onto a piece of silicon. Right. And we say 7 nanometer, 12 nanometer, 10 nanometer. What does that mean? Well, I'm going to tell you what it means. 220 nanometers, roughly 200 nanometers, that's a ray of light. That's the smallest thing you or I could see is 200. We're talking about getting down to 7, 10. And back in the day, I was talking, what, 40, right? But I'm like, I blew my mind. Like, how can we do stuff at that level? Like, uh, and it blew my mind. I just kept getting deeper and deeper and to figure out how we made this stuff. It's the size of a thumbnail. Thumbnail. Billion transistors. Congratulations, bro. Love you, bro. This has been an amazing interview. So look, on the count of three, we just going to say AMD. You ready? I right, one, two, three. AMD! Gangsta, hip-hop gamer, we got game and we out of here, baby. One. Yo, listen, man. One love and God bless. Thank y'all for the support. We got game. Hope y'all enjoy the show. See y'all next week on your hot 9-7 every day. That's my word. Hip-hop gamer, we out. Uh. I was born and raised. Brooklyn, New 